We've seen how we can redirect to another script or web page by clicking on a link or a button. That's just simple HTML converted to PHP in our case. As an example, load the files company edit and company create from the forms directory. Notice how company create has no link at the bottom to redirect to the home page. So copy the link from company edit, including the horizontal rule that separates it from the rest of the script into the bottom of the company create file and save this. So we can easily redirect with a click on a link, but often we want to jump to another page if something happens in the script without the user needing to click on a link or a button. For example, when an SQL command executes successfully, we may wish to immediately jump back to some listing of the records rather than require the user to click a back button or something similar. We do this with the PHP header command. Header has very simple syntax with the keyword header and then a URL prefaced by location colon in parenthesis and single quotes. So this command jumps immediately to the page companylist.php. It might be useful in the context where perhaps an SQL update command has executed and we want to jump immediately to a company list if the command was successful or report an error if it wasn't. So the update process might generate a variable with the value update success, which if true, we use the header command to jump to the page that simply displays the company list. Alternatively, we'd simply display an error. There's an important caveat on the header function. It cannot be used after any output has been rendered to the browser. Let's look at an example where we might use this. From your new home page, localhost slash index.php, run the company edit form by clicking edit company and submit the query without selecting a company. The company details are blank because it's trying to edit a company with an ID of zero. We don't want this to happen because there's no such company. So in the file company edit form, which we shall load, and collapse our common pieces of script. After the line company ID is set to the posted variable company ID, after that line, insert examplets redirection trap company ID has the value zero. And here we're using the header command to redirect the script back to company edit if it finds that the company ID is zero. Save the script. And again in the browser, go back to the home page, click Edit Company. And remember before when we submitted the query without selecting a company, it came up with a blank company edit form. This time I go click and it simply goes to the company edit form and then straight away back to company edit. So the user sees no action effectively. It's only when we select company that we get the form. Back to selecting a different company, don't select a company, click and nothing happens. Let's just look at the code. It says if the company has the value zero, then execute the header function to go back to the script company edit.php. So we never get to edit a non-existent record. The header function can be useful in many situations where you want to trap errors after you've reached a page or processed some data but before you've rendered anything onto the browser with Echo.